What do you get if you combine Counter-Strike, Rainbow Six, and Overwatch? Well, a gaming Frankenstein's monster, of course, made from digital alchemy and chemistry. Unlike Mary Shelley's concoction, however, there's nothing ogreish or hideous yet. Give it time, it's only been out for a few days. And much like a modern-day Prometheus, Riot have fashioned this game in the image of humans made of digital clay and breathe fire into them, which has given us Phoenix, a walking, talking, unfortunately, stereotype of old London tan, brav, blood, in it fam. Jokes over here, you're dead, scra And me now. Do you want a more politically correct FPS murder experience? Was CS maybe a little bit too real for you? Well, Valorant is your game. The bomb is now a spike, T and CT are now... Well, actually, I, I don't really know anyone. We have the gaming equivalent of Arnie's The Sixth Day here, a hidden gem, by the way, go watch it, where you too may play against your clone, see Sage face Sage for all the walls. That being said, though, Valorant is, for the most part, pretty great. I feel as if I've lost two days of my life glued to my screen, which is apt as getting tagged by any gun in this game will make you question whether the ammunition in this world is made of some super sticky adhesive substance. You're rooted into place and you aren't going anywhere, chief. This makes an already fairly slow experience feel that little bit more brutal, taking a fat bong rip while downing three bottles of your cheapest local whiskey kind of slow and brutal. And the morning after pain isn't really helped by Sage's hangover cure resurrection ult. You'll be back in the game stumbling around smashed off your face. But, fascinatingly enough, while in your intoxicated state, it might somehow, through the magic of reverse fuckology, fix the game's truly Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde sound. It is by far the worst part of Valorant. Imagine Nuke and CS before the fix, but everywhere, all the time. Sprinkled in with some unreasonably loud character lines that for the most part are cringe, and not the good kind you can have a good laugh at. Hearing a character literally say yikes after a kill made me want to put my head in a microwave to make the voices stop. Then I decided to just be a reasonable human being and turn them off in the sound options, and what do you know, they're still there intermittently. Oh, and did I mention they're loud? Like, blow your eardrums kind of loud? Like Sindel from Mortal Kombat's shrill tones in your ear, blowing the back of your skull out loud? No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, It'll sound like enemies are literally inside you, only to find out they're actually on the other side of the map, killing your friends and planting the spike. This makes clutch plays a cacophony of what is happening? The gunplay is right out of CS. Crisp, and for the most part, excellently crafted, yet something still felt a little bit off, and I can't quite put my finger on what it is. Maybe it's my old boomer hands that can't come to grasps with a new kid's FPS. Perhaps I should pick up a skateboard, turn my cat backwards and mutter, hello fellow kids, to blend in. But uh, obviously not in a tone that puts me in a watch list somewhere. Pistols especially feel like I can't hit a cow's ass with a banjo. The side of the barn is too small and... <sighs> Listen, do we, uh, do we have any more cliches? I'm running out here. No? What the fuck do I pay you for? Get back in your cage! Yeah, I'm, I'm really bad at the game, guys. But that's alright, I'll just play Brimstone. Three smokes, don't have to line up in the open, no problems. And what's that? I now have his ult, what's it called? Uh, orbital Strike, what does that do? Holy shit, it's a god beam with a fiery intensity of a million suns and now everyone's dead. And uh, he can also do it safely, by the way, balanced. Balancing feels a little bit off, to put it mildly. Much like on a scale, you have ten fish on a soapy slide and the other a few cats high off their tits on catnip, tripping balls trying to catch stars, only to realize it's the shimmering of the Lazarus pit. Sage is stupidly strong. Maywall can literally go up your ass to boost you in positions, takes more than a full magazine to destroy, and she throws down slow orbs. Have fun getting anywhere close to her. And by the way, when you do, she can heal herself or allies back to full health with her basic ability. Mercy and May had a baby, and she hates you. Passively, of course, she's a peaceful killing machine. If you're a Rainbow Six fan, by the way, don't worry. Valorant has you covered too. Might I interest you in Cypher? He is Rainbow Six in a character. Conveyor alt, but you can do it from range. Set up spy cams so you can stalk your foes from the shadows, and watch them trip over your wires for maximum creepy elation. I'm also not really sure if I'm fully decided whether I like the maps in Valorant or not. Three sites on a map just doesn't work for me. 
especially considering the sound will mind game you hard. As a result of games will feel pretty random. I mean, sure, five stacking may alleviate some of these problems, but if, like me, you're Billy Nomates, you'll have to weather the solo shitstorm headed your way. And it sounds a lot like random voice lines being screamed into your ears by lackluster characters that will annoy you more than anything else. As a jaded old fart of a gamer, I'm actually really enjoying Valorant. More than any FPS that I've played since CSGO came out, and CSGO had its own issues in the beta. A lot of these problems for Valorant can be fixed, and I'm sure most of them will be fixed. I, I came in with no real expectations, and have been pleasantly surprised. Now, the big question. It's been on everyone's mind. I've been asked it so many times. No, I'm not going to send you my feet pics. What's wrong with you guys? And No, I, I don't see Valorant killing CS. It could definitely maintain a solid esports path for itself, easily devouring Overwatch whole. We're already seeing a lot of Overwatch players piece out of Overwatch and try and scramble across the Valorant, and I think that will continue. However, the abilities combined with sound and map issues won't remove me from my gaming love any time soon. When you get a chance and you're longer and not yet pleb, give Valorant a try. You'll laugh at the cringy dialogue. You'll cry at the cringy dialogue. And hell, you might even fall in love with it. Just whatever you do, don't become its bride.